Hi, I'm Bill Burden, President of Tux in China. Today I'd like to talk to you about the three different Chinaware bodies that we produce in our factory, as well as the different types of glazes we use on those bodies. We have three distinct bodies that we manufacture, eggshell, porcelain white, and alumatux. Each one of these bodies is produced using the same basic processes, fired at the same temperature, but they each have individual characteristics that set them apart from one another. The eggshell body, standard body that's probably used in the majority of food service operations in the country, is made of four basic products, feldspar, ball clay, kaolin, and silica. This body is about a quarter of an inch thick. It's not translucent, and it gives you an extremely durable kind of eggshell, off-white colored body. Second body we produce is porcelain white. This body's made with the same basic ingredients, but those ingredients are of a higher quality, and so they give you a much whiter product because of that higher quality of product, you're able to make a thinner, lighter body, but still have the same durability characteristics as thicker bodies. The last body we produce is what we call our Alumatux. This is a high alumina body. In order to get a high alumina body, what we do is we remove some of the clay from the formula and we put in pure alumina oxide. Alumina oxide is a raw material that's found naturally occurring in most good china clays, but by adding additional uh, alumina oxide into the body, you're able to produce a thinner body that's extremely durable. So these are the three bodies that we use, and all of these bodies go through the exact same rigorous testing procedures in our lab and no, so that no matter which product you choose for your operation, you'll get a product that is consistent from month to month and year to year. Now that you know a little bit about the types of bodies that we produce here at Tuxton, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the glaze that we put on our various bodies. Uh, glazes are made basically silica, sand, and when that is fired to high temperature, it turns into a type of glass. And that glass is what gives Chinaware its beautiful shine and allows you to showcase your food creations in a beautiful way. It also is non-porous, so from a sanitary standpoint, it's what you want in a food service operation. How glazes are made is they're basically powders and you'll take those powders, mix them with water, grind them and blend them till they get to a homogeneous point. Then that is applied to the unfired ceramic body. And then they're taken and dried again and that wet glaze now turns back into a powder again. And then you put it into the kiln and it's fired at around 2300 degrees and as it goes up to that high temperature the glaze melts and becomes molten glass and solidifies to give you your china body and once that happens the glaze bonds with the ceramic body and it will never ever come off or apart what i'd like to show you now is some examples of the different types of glazes that we manufacture uh, from our standard clear glaze, which goes on all three of these bodies, the eggshell, the porcelain white, and the uh, alumatux. This is the same basic clear glaze, but it looks different because of the color of the body, which we talked about a little while ago. We also have uh, colored glazes that we put on, and this is an example of a colored glaze, this is cayenne, and it's the same type of process as all the other glazes. We also have some new glazes as we're just starting to work with. These are our artisan glazes, or reactive glazes. And so this is some new product that we're just coming out with this fall. 
Most importantly, all of our glazes are 100% lead free and pass all state and federal guidelines. So you never have to worry about any problems with your Tuxton China. As always, thank you for watching. We hope you found this information useful. And if you'd like to see our entire library of Food Service 101 videos, check out our website and YouTube channel.